Okay, so before the video begins, I just wanted all of you to know that I really appreciate all the support I've been receiving in the last few videos. It means a lot to me. And if you're new here and you're new to Daisy, whether it be on Xbox or PC, please go check out my playlist on tips and tutorials in Daisy. They'll range from PvP tips and crafting to full loot runs and how to survive much longer, as well as learning the controls for new Xbox players. Okay, so this video is going to be broken up into two separate parts. The first one is going to be all the current craftable items in the game at this time, and the second will cover all the craftable items that were in the game previously, but aren't anymore. And I just wanted to um, cover those because you guys, I want you guys to know exactly how to craft those things when they're put back into the game. So to start everything off, obviously, it's going to be the currently craftable items in the Xbox and PC build of the game. So the first one's going to be the courier bag. So this one's going to be a small backpack that you can create out of a burlap sack and a rope. Um, if you don't know how to craft on Xbox right now, it's pretty simple. You're just going to need to put one item into your inventory and one into your hands. And then when you have the thing in your hands, you're just going to hover over with the cursor, the second item that you want to craft th the product and item with. You just tap B, the inventory screen will close, and you just need to hold down right trigger and your character will craft the item that you're trying to make. So the courier bag, like I said, one burlap sack, one rope, you put them together and you'll get a backpack that's smaller, but it'll give you a lot more um, item slots in your inventory to pick up items. So finding a burlap sack is pretty easy. You're gonna wanna just go through um, utility sheds, industrial areas and residential homes and you'll find one eventually. Same with the rope, you're gonna be looking in the same exact spot. So that's gonna make finding one of these really easy. All right, so the second item is the improvised backpack. This thing is uh, just basically an upgrade to the courier bag. And what you need is a courier bag and three sticks to create this item. Now this is gonna give you a lot more inventory slots and the sticks are pretty easy to find. So if you already have a courier bag, all you're going to need to do is find a sharp object and go to bushes, and you're just going to need to go over to it and hold on right trigger with it in your hands, and your character will cut down the bush, and a stick will appear, or multiple sticks. And you're just going to need to stack up three, and then put a courier bag in your inventory, or your hands, or whatever, and then the sticks do the same process, and you'll create the improvised backpack. Okay, so moving on, we're going to be moving on to the improvised suppressor. This one's really nice if you need to maybe shoot someone and you don't want anyone else to hear it uh, from a distance, like say you're an electro and sniping with an IZ or some other kind of rifle. This is really useful. So what you're going to need is a PET bottle. So this is just a water bottle and um, also duct tape. You're going to put these two together. The water bottle will not be usable for water anymore, obviously and uh, it'll just fit right on the end of any primary rifle type gun and it'll last for a few shots and then it'll still sit there and it'll sound like it's suppressed but zombies will still aggro to you and players will still hear it loud um, in the distance so it'll only work for a few shots it's not going to be like a normal suppressor that you find like a nato suppressor or an east suppressor for an ak or an ar but it's going to be really useful for certain situations if you need your shots to be silenced. Okay, so moving on, we're just going to move on to the improvised knife. All you need for this is a stone. It's pretty simple. You just need to search for a stone, find one, and you're going to right-click on it if you're on PC or drag it into your inventory, and you'll be able to craft a improvised knife. If you're on Xbox, you're just going to kind of want to put it into your hands, and then you'll be able to hold down right trigger with it, and you'll be able to turn it into an improvised knife. So this will be really useful if you need to skin animals or people or if you need to cut down trees or whatever you can use this um, improvised knife for any of those things okay so moving on there's the splint this is going to be um, really useful if you have a broken leg or a fractured leg or whatever you're going to need this to actually heal from that so you're going to need either rags a bandage or duct tape um, for one of the items and the second item you're going to need one stick so again, you just need to cut down a bush, find a stick, and then the rags, bandage, or duct tape, and you'll be able to craft a splint. And so if you have a fractured leg or broken leg, you can just apply this to your character, and you'll be good. You'll um, have a fixed broken leg or whatever else. Okay, so moving on, the torch. This is going to be useful, I mean, I guess, if you want to have some light at night. I don't personally use flashlights or torches because it's, well... A beacon for people to see you in the middle of the night 
Um, but if you do want to craft it, it's one stick and a rag or bandage. And you put those together and you have the torch. And then you're going to need a uh, matchbox or something to light it with. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you want to use a torch or a flashlight, you're going to be a beacon at, in the middle of the night for people to shoot at. Okay, so the sharpened stick, this is going to be um, useful if you want to use it as a melee weapon or if you want to cook meat um, after you make a fireplace, which will be the second uh, thing I'll tell you about in a second. So the sharpened stick, basically all you're going to need is a stick and a sharp object, and you're just going to put them together and hold down right trigger again, or if you're on PC, left click, and you'll create the sharpened stick. So what you can do with this other than using it as a melee weapon, is put a piece of meat that's raw, let's, let's say human meat on the end of it, and then if you have a fireplace in front of you, you can just uh, use that to cook the meat over the fire. So, now the fireplace, that's the next part I wanted to talk about. This is pretty easy, you're just going to need a rag, bandage, note, book, or oak bark, or birch bark, so you any of those things, mixed with one stick and you will get a fireplace that you can put down and then you again you're going to need a matchbox to light it with and then you'll have a fire going that you can cook meat and any other items in you can actually i think destroy items also with the fireplace if i'm not mistaken um, so if you want to destroy gear you can just throw it in the fire and it'll burn the the thing and it'll be ruined Okay, so moving on to the final thing that is currently craftable is the armband. So you're just going to need a rag or rags and a sharp object, and you'll be able to turn it into an armband. This is good if you're in a group of people and you want to recognize each other from a distance without needing to communicate constantly. Uh, you can also dye them with uh, either berries or spray paint that you'll be able to find in the future. I don't think that's in the current build of the game, but armbands are really good for distinguishing who's on whose side, basically. Okay, so I have a list in front of me that'll be linked down in the description to the Daisy Wiki of all um, craftable items. So if I've already gone over it, I'm just gonna skip over it. So the first item is gonna be the hand drill kit. You need oak bark and one stick for this. You combine those and you'll get a hand drill. That's useful for a lot of things, actually, um, in the game. So the next thing is an improvised ash wood short bow so this is going to need a long wooden stick plus a rope or an improvised rope so a long wooden stick you would get from cutting a branch off of a tree with any sharp object and you get this long wooden stick and then you just combine that with a rope and you'll get a bow um, the improvised rope i'll go over in the future and so then there's a small fish trap so this is going to require a pet water bottle and a sharp object you combine those together and you'll have a fish trap. You can place this in the water and um, after a while it'll actually catch a fish for you. You can pick it up and now you have a fish in your inventory. So the next thing is the improvised arrow. You need a sharpened stick and a feather. Combine those two together and you have an arrow for the bow that I talked about just before. Now there's also an improvised bone arrow where you can just take an improvised arrow and bones from you know chickens humans whatever else you killed and skinned you'd get bones and so now you just combine those two together and then you get the bone arrow and so now there's the, also the fishnet trap which you just need fish netting which is one of the rarest and most valuable items and you'll see why in the future um, hey, yo, what up, to get in the game plus metal wire and you could put those together to get a fishnet trap which is essentially the same thing as the small trap only this will yield more fish so then also there's an improvised spear. So you'd, like again, you'd get the long wooden stick from a tree and then add bones and you combine those together and you get a spear. And then there's a rabbit snare. This is gonna require one stick oh, and you. one metal wire. It. Combine those together and you can catch rabbits. Um, place this down in the woods somewhere and come back later and you may actually have a rabbit. <laughs> So then there's going to be the nailed baseball bat. This is a pretty obvious. You just combine nails and a baseball bat, and it does a little bit more damage when you hit zombies or people. Yeah. And this one was one of my personal favorites. It was the tripwire. You could combine this with a grenade, um, and it would you would unpin the grenade and put it on the tripwire, and when someone would trip it, obviously the grenade would go off, and it was pretty sweet. So this would just need a stick and metal wire, and then you could place it down in front of a doorway and close the door and wait. And like I said, unpin a grenade, put it there, and it would be perfect for guarding your back if you're sniping or something else for a long period of time. So now there's an improvised fishing rod. This one was pretty cool as well. You just needed a long wooden stick, 
a rope or improvi improvised rope um, and you'd get a fishing rod you could cast that out with like worms on the end and you could catch fish um, that was pretty awesome so then there was the bone fishing hook which is just a sharp object and bones together you could create a fishing hook for the end of your f improvised fishing rod um, there's also tanned leather which is going to require any pelt of any wild animal in the game plus garden lime and then water in a barrel for three minutes and you combine you put it into a big like 150 gallon drum uh, with the lime and also the pelt of whatever kind and then you would get the tanned leather so then now this is the improvised rope you'd need actually six rags and six more rags and you combine so a six rags is a full stack so you just get a full stack of rags plus another full stack combine that together and you get an improvised rope so you can make a lot of things with this so then fertilizer this is going to require a pile of guts which is from gutting any animal in the game and then plant material which you could get from cutting down like bushes and stuff like that um, and you'd create fertilizer so that you could grow crops so then you have um, the improvised leather backpack which is something we haven't talked about because leather isn't really into the game yet so you just need a leather courier bag which is okay obviously you just need to take rope and then a wild boar pelt or any other pelt um, in the game combine that together and you would get that courier bag and then if you want the leather backpack you just add one stick to the courier bag that you already have and it's the same process just like the improvised bag or the improvised courier bag so then there's the barrel with holes honestly i have no idea what this was used for but um, it's just a barrel, one of those massive barrels that you could find in the game before, plus a sharp object, and you'd have holes in your barrel for whatever reason. And then if you needed a stone ring around your fireplace, you'd need four extra stones and the fireplace that you originally crafted. And then if you want to add a cooking tripod to your fireplace, you'd do the same thing, just a cooking tripod and the fireplace, and you, there you go. Then if you want a stone oven, um, you'd need a fireplace and eight stones, and then if you wanted bone fishing bait, it would be a bone fishing hook and a worm, and you'd get the bait on the end of your uh, fishing hook. So then you could create leather sacks. Um, so if you already had one of those uh, leather courier bags, you could add either 25 bark, 25 nails, or a sewing kit or bone fishing hook, and you could create different colored sacks. Um, for whatever reason if you wanted that and so here is the rarest and best items ever in the game um, coming up so this is where the netting comes into play and this is why it's so extremely rare and valuable to find in the old versions of the game you would need burlap strips and netting and if you know what's coming it's the ghillie suit or ghillie gun wrap best stuff ever uh one time in my playthrough i actually got a full suit plus two um woodland gun wraps for an ak and i think it was a winchester and that was like the best time ever it's so fun to have a ghillie suit because they were really really good so once they're re-added into the xbox and pc versions of the game you better believe I'm going to be making a video about ghillie sniping because that's like my favorite thing to do in Daisy. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to cut up burlap sacks. Um, you're going to need a lot. So for just one gun wrap, you're going to need two strips, which is two different burlap sacks that you rip up with a knife or any other sharp object, plus one netting, and you'll actually get the gun wrap. And then if you want to make it tan, woodland, or mossy, you're going to need different combinations of spray paint, which I'll go over in the future. Okay, so then if you want the ghillie hood, you're going to need two strips and one netting as well, and you'll be able to make the hood. And if you want it to be woodland, you'll need green spray paint. That's that's for woodland. That's my favorite. Then if you want mossy, you need, need to make it green, so woodland. And then on top of that, you need to add in uh, black after that. So that's where mossy comes into play, and it's kind of hard to find all this spray paint and netting and burlap sacks. It takes forever. And mossy to me didn't look as good as woodland, so I always kept it just at the green. So now if you want the bush rag, which is the middle portion, um, also a thing to note, this does take up a backpack slot. Um, if you want this, you're going to need two netting and four strips. This is insanely hard to find, but it covers the majority of your body. Um, so 
that's something that you're just going to want to take into account as well. If you want it woodland, green spray paint. If you want it mossy, you need to make it into a woodland first and then add black. So then if you want the ghillie top, this is like just the top portion of your body. This is just like your torso. Um, you need three netting and six burlap strips. This is insanely hard as well. Same process, combine them green for woodland, black on top of that for mossy. Then if you want the full ghillie suit, um, this is 10 strips plus four netting, and you'll get the ghillie suit itself without the hood. Um, that's, I mean, everything you need to know about the ghillie suit and ghillie pieces. Um, really awesome if you could find a full suit of woodland. It's insane. So then you're going to need um, like colored armbands. That's another thing that you can craft if you like out of a raincoat. Any color of raincoat, you could be orange, for instance, and then you take a sharp object and you could cut those into armbands for your crew. I think you get like six from a full raincoat. And so now this is the end. This is the last portion that you could create. You could create an actual full leather suit and hat plus a water pouch and like storage vest and everything shoes it's the whole thing you'd be a full leather outfit um, what you need to do is make tanned leather like we talked about before you need to have that uh, garden lime and the barrel and put it in there for three minutes and then you'd get the tanned leather so you're going to need a lot of this tanned leather so you're going to need to go hunting a lot to get this so once you do have a lot of it for the hat you're going to need one tanned leather plus a leather sewing kit and you'd be able to make the hat, which is kind of like a cowboy hat made out of leather. That's what it looks like. And then if you wanted to make the jacket, you'd need five tanned leather plus a leather sewing kit. And you'd make the jacket. Then if you wanted the moccasins, which is just the shoes, you'd need two tanned leather plus a leather sewing kit. Then if you wanted the pants, three tanned leather, one leather sewing kit. Then if you wanted the storage vest, you'd need four tanned leather plus a leather sewing kit. And then finally, the leather water pouch, one tanned leather, and one leather sewing kit. And you, you, you would have the full entire suit. I have never, never, ever done that. Um, I don't know why you would want to, but if you did, it's a lot of work. I, that honestly might be more than the ghillie suit, and the ghillie suit by far is more cool and much more useful in PvP. So that is everything, guys. So I hope you did enjoy the video. Hope it was helpful for you. If you did enjoy it, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any more tutorials or gameplay videos I put up in the future. And yeah, I mean, this this was a lot more work to try to put together. So if you guys would leave a little more support into the comments, I know you guys have been killing it so far. I'm at 36 subscribers and our goal is still 100. So please keep killing it like you have been. And I will see you guys in the next video.